Greetings people, welcome back to Empowered Independence, a vlog series hosted by me, Ketza. And today, we're going to talk about a common question that's often searched for, which is, can I use royalty-free music on social media? And we're talking social media channels like Twitch, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Obviously, the royalty-free element is attractive for those wishing to monetize their content and not have to pay royalties for the music they've used. This, however, does not necessarily mean the music is free to use as you please. There are different things to take into consideration before using any music, even if that music is royalty-free. Royalty-free does not mean copyright-free, and it's important to avoid any legal issues to firstly respect the wishes of the music artist and or copyright holder by understanding the various requirements of licensing royalty-free music for your videos and projects. Let's create a checklist for content creators wanting to use royalty-free music on their social media channels. Number one, check the license of the track you want to use. Most sites that offer free music downloads like the FMA, Jamendo, or the Internet Archive do so by enabling the various artists to release their music on a royalty-free Creative Commons license. However, there are six different CC licenses that allow different levels of use. It's definitely not just, I can use this if I give attribution. It is therefore essential to check the specific CC license for the track you would like to use and gain a good understanding of these licenses. You may be able to use the track, you may not. It all depends on the CC license. There's a thorough CC license guide on the FMA website, which I will link below. Number two, can my project be considered commercial or promotional? Think about your project. Is it commercial, promotional, or linked to an organization or company in any way? This will affect what track you're able to use. Unless the track you've chosen is either released on a Creative Commons Zero license, CC0, or a Creative Commons BY license, which is attribution, CCBY, then this is a very important consideration. For example, if you use royalty-free music on your YouTube channel, and your intention, like most, is for your channel to grow and become monetized, then this would be considered commercial use. Say you have used music that states non-commercial use allowed only on the CC license, then a year down the line your channel is monetized and you are earning money from it. Are you going to go back and clear all the music you've used previously? If not, you could find your channel being subject to a copyright strike and your hard work cancelled. This is why understanding royalty-free music licensing for your social media channels is essential. If you're a professional artist that uploads time-lapse videos of yourself painting, for example, this would also be considered commercial use as it's promotional to your work. The best practice, if unsure whether your project would be considered commercial or not, is to contact the artist directly to ask permission or to pay a nominal fee to them to clear perpetual use of the track. Number three. The track isn't clear for derivative and or commercial use, but I still want to use it. What now? Always contact the artist before using in these cases. Many independent artists like myself and the artists at the IMLC have websites that enable easy and cheap perpetual licensing of tracks. We've centralised a licensing library of over 2,000 high quality tracks from independent artists at the imlcollective.uk that's easy to become an annual member of and use as much pre-cleared and licensed royalty-free music as needed within the membership year. It's also easy to clear just one track for use forever. Independent artists are also generally very flexible and may allow free or donation-based use to you depending on circumstances, so it's always worth checking. Be warned, using royalty-free music on your social media channels that's not released on a CC0 or CCBY license, all been cleared by the artist, is a breach of copyright, a pretty serious legal offence that can prove costly to fix. So all in all, royalty-free music can be used on your social media channels if the music is released on a license enabling you to do so for free, or you've received permission or bought a perpetual license from the copyright holder of the music. Companies like ours, the imlcollective.uk, have simplified this process. For a small fee, content creators are able to license quality, royalty-free music to use in social media channels and beyond without fear of copyright infringements. Come check out our services. 
So I hope you found this useful. We'll be updating our vlog more regularly in this next year. So please come back and join us for the next one. But until then, peace.